Well, hello everyone. Welcome to my hobby home. My name is Kathy. Today I'm going to be doing a little something different for those parents out there. If you have little ones and you've been thinking about the Disney's 100 Advent Calendar, stay tuned and watch. You're going to see what's in this so you know if it's worth it or not. And you'll see it's nine. 98 is the 2023 edition you can find this uh probably at your local walmart i know the one um near us only has like three of them this was one of the three so stay tuned we are going to look and see what's in this it is a storybook collection i am going to show you what it looks like on the inside We'll see it has all of the the little storybooks. So what I'm going to do, and I see they don't have them in order. That just doesn't make sense to me. Why are you going to put the numbers all over the place? Put them in order. Do better. So we're going to start with day one. I'm just going to go on and get into it. Now, by my understanding, what this is, this is a countdown to Christmas with all your Disney and Pixar friends. It's 24 books this festive season. Enjoy a magical tale every day in the run-up to Christmas. So, you're going to have 24 books. So, I am going to... And it'll be cute just to put the little books back in there. Because, you know, now I'm going to have grandbabies at Christmas time. So, we'll be able to do our little books. Oh... Uh, the first one is so cute. I really like this. For day one is Alice in Wonderland. A present for the Queen. Now who doesn't like Alice in Wonderland? They're so sweet. We really do like Alice in Wonderland. So if you are thinking about purchasing this for your child, uh, just watch it. You'll, you'll see what we have here. <laughs> I'm going to go on and do all 24 days so you can see what's in it and you can decide if you want to buy this or not. So day number two. And they have they have them wrapped real nice here. You just have this little paper here you have to tear. I guess I could slide it out the edge of it, couldn't I? Oh, I could do that. So day number two. Oh, I don't know this one. But, of course, it's been 21 years since I've had a baby in, in my house. Well, not counting my grandbaby, but she's not into cartoons yet. This is Disney Pixar Onward. Now, I'm sure some of y'all already know what this is. I don't know what it is. I have not seen this. So, that's interesting. So, I am going to... I'm going to see if I can slide this back in here. I may have to take the other one up and put it in there. And then change them around every year. Change them around every year so they'll have to figure it out. So next we have day three. Let's see what we have for day three. Now I think this is a great thing. Um, it will encourage the children to read. And I have a kitty cat just coming in. He's probably going to start talking. Oh, uh, I love this. This is an old time favorite. But I don't know the book because I've never seen these books. Dumbo's Snowy Day. That's too cute. What little one? Yeah, he's going to talk to me. He wants food, I'm guessing. They act like if they could see the bottom of the bowl, it's the end of the world. So that was day three. One moment. Okay, he was wanting outside. So we're going to day four now. Oh, I like this. Disney Lilo and Stitch Rides the Waves. So that's cute. Now, I do know some of these cartoons because, you know, my kids, we would go and see the movies in the theater, you know, the Disney movies up until they were like seven or eight. And at that point, we started doing Marvel Comics. So day five. Now we got another kitty cat under my my feet. 
he's not really a talker, but he has been lately, which is kind of strange. Oh, he's he wants to sleep in here. So day number five, uh, Disney Pixar Toy Story, a toy Christmas. Now y'all probably would like to see the writing in this. It's very tiny. It's very tiny. But perfect for little children to have something for them, an advent calendar for them. So now we're going to day six. Oh, this is cute. Lady and the Tramp. Ladies Christmas Surprise. <coughs> So that's really cute. I know I'm going fast, but I'm not going to read the books to you. You have to go get them if you want to see these. Like I said, they were only like $9.98 at your local Walmart. Um, I've seen these online for like $15, and then I saw it in Walmart, and I was like, why are they selling them for $15? So day number seven. Disney Pixar Turning Red Panda Up. Now that's cute. I don't know this. It says, after a cleaning accident at the temple, the panda spirits of May's ancestors escape and turn May's best friend into red pandas. Together, the four friends set out to use their powers for good, all before going to a concert that evening. I think it's May's. It's May or my M-E-I. May, my. So that was seven. And let's find number eight. Number eight is way at the top. Disney Pixar Lightyear Big Trouble. It says Buzz Lightyear and his team of Space Rangers embark on their first mission together as they head to their planet's dark side when they discover a mysterious purple orb and a host of unfriendly bugs they soon discover that everything is not quite as it seems so that'll be cute my my kids love buzz lightyear they love toy story buzz lightyear they they loved all that i don't know i might have loved it more than they did but I thought it was cute. <laughs> so, number nine. Oh, Finding Nemo, A Big Blue Christmas. It's Christmas time and Marlin and Nemo are throwing a party, but a party takes a lot of planning and the two clownfish will need help from their friends if they're going to throw the best party ever. So, that's nice. And this would be great, you know, to read to your kids maybe at Christmas time when you're trying to get them to go to bed and they're so excited that they just can't go to bed. Maybe it would be cute to read one of these little stories, you know, let them do this at night. You know, little advent book for the kids. Ten. Oh, I like this. Uh, Disney and Kento, Mystery in the Rainforest. I know some of these, even though they're newer. The magical family are preparing for a big family event, but strange things are happening in their village. With the help of his animal friends, the youngest member of the Madrigals, Antonio, embarks on an adventure to unlock the mystery in the rainforest. So, that's cute. They sound like stories I'd like to read to them. So, let's go to day 11. So, day 11. Oh, Disney Pixar Cars. I love Cars. That, that is like one of the best movies ever. The best present ever. When Lightning McQueen learns that he won't be in Radiator Springs for Christmas, his best friend, Mater, sets out to find the perfect gift for his pal. But with some bumps in the road, will Mater find the best present ever? That's going to be sweet. That's going to be sweet, I'm telling you. So, let's go to day number 12. 
way up here at the top. Oh, 101 Dalmatians, the puppy's first Christmas. When Roger brings a Christmas tree home, the puppies are very excited, but despite all the decorations and presents, will the puppies learn what Christmas is really about? That's going to be sweet. Okay, so that was day number 12. So let's go day 13. <coughs> trying to get it here. Okay, day 13. Disney, Huey, Dewey, and Louie's Christmas Wish. When Huey, Dewey, and, I, and Louie see a shiny toboggan in a toy shop window, the boys know it's exactly what they'd like for Christmas. Ah. See what trouble they can get into, I'm sure. Okay, so we're more than halfway done. So that was 13. So now 14. You have to hunt for these things. Oh, Ratatouille, a delicious duo. I like this one. It's Colette's birthday and Linguini has no idea what to get her as a gift. Oh, uh, that's going to be sweet. I like Ratatouille. That's a cute little movie. So, let's find 15 now. Way, way up at the top. Very first one. Okay. Bambi, the wonderful winter tree. It's Bambi's first winter, and he soon sees that life in the forest can be hard when it's cold. That is precious. That's going to be precious. It's nice to see that they keep some of the older ones, you know, still going. Now, I know, I had a huge Disney collection of movies, and I got rid of all of them after my kids no longer watched them. Now, I'm wishing I'd give them, but they were all VHS. I wouldn't do VHS now. Okay. Number 16, Monsters, Inc. Christmas Laughs. The monsters of Monster Inc. are struggling to collect enough laughs because the kids have gone on holiday. Oh, that's going to be funny, I bet. So, 17. Mickey and Minnie's Gift of the Magi. When Mickey and Minnie have to find each other the perfect Christmas present, they discover that love is the most valuable gift of all. That's sweet. I love Mickey and Minnie. I've been like a huge Disney fan my whole life. My very first stuffed animal that I recall was a music box Mickey Mouse. It was a stuffed animal. And I actually have it sitting over here. One second and I'll grab it. Now, I am not going to lie, but Mickey has seen better days. This is my very first that I have, that I remember. My granddaddy bought this for me when I think I was like four. I'm sure I had dolls and stuff before then. But Mickey has had lipstick. His nose has come off. He's coming apart. I mean, he's got a hole in his britches. We've sewn, he's been sewed together there once before. He's coming apart, but. I'm on. It's, this thing is almost 50 years old. And I'm sure you can hear that. So, yeah, this was uh, something that my granddaddy gave me as a child. So, um, boom. Okay, so next we are on 18. Oh, Winnie the Pooh, the sweetest Christmas. Now, it's going to keep playing music till it's done. So, 
It's a cold, snowy Christmas Eve, and Winnie the Pooh has forgotten to get presents for all of his friends. I'm still surprised that the music box still plays because, like I said, it's almost 50 years old. And it's still a chug a -lugging. Still a chug a -lugging. But I put that up. I, I didn't let my kids play with it. Um, my grandkids won't play with it because that's something very special to me. Okay, 19. Wreck it, Ralph. Wreck the halls. Christmas was usually a lonely time for video game bad guys like Ralph. Aww. I do remember seeing this in the theater. I think we saw that in the theater. We might have seen it on Disney Channel. I'm not sure. I can't remember. So let's go to 20. So we've got five left. Oh, Robin Hood, Christmas for everyone. When Robin Hood and his friends settle down to a Christmas feast, they see that not everyone is as fortunate as they are. So that's going to be cute. You know, sometimes there's a lot of lessons that can be learned um, in these old books. But I am going to say, I am going to read these books before... I read them to my grandkids. Okay, next one is Wally, a gift for Wally. When Wally and Eve notice that once a year the humans start acting very oddly, they decide to copy their festivities. Oh, that's going to be cute. So now we're at day 22. Let's see what day 22 is. And I imagine all of the books will be, you know, all of the books, everything in this one will be the same. Oh, my favorite, complete favorite, Pinocchio, the perfect gift. I loved Pinocchio as a child. I had all the little record books where it had a little vinyl record and you would play it. And you had the book, and it would beat when you were to turn the page. I had Pinocchio was my favorite one. I don't know what happened to all those books. I really don't know what happened to that. I know um, there was a house fire that might have gotten them. Because I might have had them all boxed down. And it wasn't a house. It was an old house that we had a lot of our stuff stored in um in that house burned down because somebody was smoking a snake out the back of the the old house and caught it on fire no it was not me so 23 but that was the story i was given anyway i wasn't there when it happened so donald duck's christmas tree you gotta love donald duck it's Christmas Eve and Donald Duck and Pluto have found the perfect tree in the forest. Aww. Gotta love Donald Duck. Okay, and last but not least, 24. Day 24. My kitty cat's trying to get me to pet him. Oh, y'all, I watch this movie every year at Christmas. Every year. Mickey's Christmas Carol. Ebenezer Scrooge is too greedy to see that Christmas is a time for generosity. Now, it's not Mickey's Christmas Carol that I watch. I watch Christmas Carol every year. So, that is going to be so cute. So, guys, if you want this, run on to your local Walmart. Because they may still have some. Like I said, um, ours only has two more left. These are perfect. They're $10. You get 24 little books. So that's something to do every day starting December 1 and go all the way up to Christmas Day um, for the children to do. What? My, my little kitty cat standing down here. What baby? But the children, you know, they'll have something that, that's a little enjoyment for them, I'm sure. So, 
If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, please click on the subscription button. Uh, leave a comment. I do respond to each and every comment. If you know of another Advent that you'd like to see unboxed um, within a reasonable price range, I am going to say that I'm not buying a two and three hundred dollar Advent box just because you want to see what's in it. But if you have something else. You know, like something for children. Just let me know and I'll see if I can find it in my area. Because I would rather pick it up than buy it online. You know, I like to support my local shops. And guys, I'm going to apologize here. I know you see lines here and there's shadows and stuff. I don't have my light in front of me right now. So, I apologize. It's a recording thing going on here. Um... We're in the process of revamping my recording stuff in the hopes that it will get better. It will get better. But because I have to do something different with this sewing machine because it definitely has a glare all over it. But guys, uh, if you like this, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. If you know someone that's been wondering about this, share this with them so they can see it. Because I would hate for someone to miss it just because they don't know what's in it. And you can't stand in Walmart and take all the little books out of these packages. <laughs> um, they may not allow that. <laughs> but as always, until I see you again, have a very blessed day. Goodbye, guys.